Hello there! In this video, I will be showing you how to use DS1302 RTC using a Arduino in combination with a liquid crystal I2C display. Let's get started! The main component of this video will be this little green board over here. This is a DS1302 RTC or real-time clock that has all timekeeping actions. A real-time clock that counts seconds, minutes, hours, date of the month, month, day of the week, and year with leap year compensation valid up to 2100s. In combination with CR2032 lithium battery, with a nominal voltage of 3 volts and has a capacity of 250 mAh in combination with low operation of DS1302 at 2 volts to 5.5 volts full operation and uses less than 300 nanoampere at 2 volts this RTC can be powered without external power source in 10 years next we need a display to display the current date and time. I went for this liquid crystal display with an integrated I2C interface to make the wiring much more easier. Next, we need a microcontroller. For this, I will be using Arduino Uno as the brains of the system since it's the easiest available programmable board. And last, we need some wires male to female connector wires to be precise by the way subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button thank you so let's connect everything to one another according to this e schematic So after fixing everything to not to be a mess, and for aesthetics also, it's time to plug in the Arduino into your computer and it's time for programming. In Arduino, I included the Liquid Crystal I2C library for the LCD display. I also included obviously the DS1302 library to drive the board and set the corresponding pins of the RTC. In void setup, I initialize the RTC halt and RTC write protect as false. Then, I initialize the necessary begins for the LCD display. Next, this is where you will put the date and time. After that, you will comment this section for the second programming later but more about that later in void loop i printed the get time str and also the get date str in little indian format and lastly i also printed the get do str after that Go to tools and always check your board and ports for your Arduino Uno board. Please, don't forget this. After that, upload the code. After waiting for a few seconds, the LCD will come to life. But, it is not done yet. In Arduino IDE, comment the RTC sets because the first upload is for DS1302. So, we need to remove the sets. So, after comment all the RTC sets, click upload again. As you can see, if I remove the source of the Arduino and put it back again, 
the time did not reset. I hope that you like this video. If so, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, thank you, and I will see you next time.